This is from Liz. Hi, Linus and Luke. I got a promotion at work. Yay! Nice. Yay! Oh, it's a completely new department, though. Oh, Any crazy. tips on what you would be looking for in a new team member without much experience? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good promotion. <laughs> wow. Are you sure you didn't just get, like, good uh, luck thrown to the wolves? Yeah, this is interesting. You know what's re- without much experience. Wow. You know what's really funny? This really depends on the role. Go for it. Does this remind you of anything that ever happened? <laughs> Are we going there? Are we Wait, for what? Like the recent thing? No. I don't I feel like this has happened to me multiple times. So I, don't, <laughs> I, don't if, I don't know if you're talking about that. Are you sure that you weren't just, like, impossible to deal with in your current position? <laughs> Still valid. <laughs> mine, and, uh, mine and Luke's relationship has been often complicated by my role as his boss. Uh, on the one hand, I think we're friends, you know? It, 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 like, like, really, though. But on the other hand, um, at one point in time, I was his friend, his landlord his employer, and I think there was technically, like, one other thing. Um, what could it have been? All at once. Yeah. Um, love, no, no, hold on. We, uh, sorry. No, We're not uh, talking about that one. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so our relationship has at times been really complicated. Yeah. Um, so, I mean... I mean, if he fires me, he doesn't get rent. He's squatting <laughs> in his house. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, anywho... Um, there, there was, there was a period where, um, our work relationship was pretty challenging and, um, Luke got a, um, promotion, promotion. You know what? Why don't I let you talk about it? Uh, it was, it was difficult on both sides. I was a bit of a shithead, um, and there was also some other things going on. I'm not going to put all of the blame on me. I think a lot of it can go there, though. Um, I own some. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Things happen. I had a lot going on, too. Uh, and then and then I started doing float plane. <laughs> <laughs> and it came with a, a, a big, be- a better title. So it was a promotion in that sense. Not really. Oh, that's right. You had that title at Linus Media Group that probably didn't, I it, mean... To be, yeah, to be fair, it was kind of fake, and then it was kind of real, so that's that's better. Yeah, <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> fake BS title. Anywho... That um, part was an improvement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um... Are you sure it wasn't that? <laughs> I think it depends a lot. So they say, any tips on what you do for a new team member without much experience? You said promotion. So are you joining as a team member? Are you no, leading this team? No, they're leading a completely new department. I think it's basically what, <laughs> what I was doing. Yeah. Uh, so Luke went from being part of video production at Linus Media Group to being the leader of Floatplane. Yeah. Yeah, and Floatplane's sick now though. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that. What's cool is that it this actually was, like super worked. This was it. It was. I think I. In, I think I softened it a lot. I think probably. No. Uh, you have a different memory of how certain things went at that time than are like actually real, and I have receipts for a lot of it. Did I say mom spaghetti? Uh, what? Because I'm pretty sure I said mom spaghetti at some point. Probably one shot, one opportunity. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so then I was pretty upfront then, I guess. Yeah about what this was like okay build something yeah <laughs> fucking did it so there you go i think honestly the role change did actually solve a lot of the problems that like i was having with things i wasn't time. sure me neither like this it was, was it was worth biting yeah i don't yeah. know i'm really happy with uh with the team that we have that's the main thing i'm happy with um yeah float plane like existing and working seems like a fever dream like the fact that that even happened at all is like kind of wild and then we do tons of other stuff at this point now yeah that's Um, like very impactful on the business on yvonne umbrella corporation like i just talked to uh someone from the inventory team about like how cool the inventory system is yeah um i'm gonna say their names one of them i'm 100 percent certain i can say the other one i'm 98 but i think it's okay Peter and Tyler do a lot of the work yep. on the inventory system, and they launched something recently that was like super cool. Um, 
like we we do a bunch of infrastructure stuff not just in Floatplane. Uh, under the umbrella includes the labs web development team who are killing yeah. it under the umbrella includes conrad department Yay, of one conrad he's killing it uh like uh, yeah. the the it's, yeah aj said going on almost six years now yeah we've been going yeah. for a long time the yeah. team's actually like big for a project that so many people called doomed and continue to call a failure it's going pretty strong yeah so yeah i mean i'm, it's I'm like, hey aj yeah, the, the the checks like they clear right <laughs> like I, I six years later st still still uh still toiling away at this failure of a project yeah yeah so <laughs> I, I i don't know it is what it is it worked out um if, if you're leading it um yeah i mean so then fine you you did it. Maybe they're maybe they're being thrown to the wolves. It's a sink or swim moment, which is part of the name of float plane. Um, yeah. Maybe you, okay. What did you? How did you build the team? I don't know, dude. Um, <laughs> find an AJ and a Yuki as fast as you can. If they're not named that, you're doomed. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> no, it's, it sounds like the team might already exist. If that's the case, there's going to be a lot of eyes on you. Um, and I think you specifically said without much experience, it sounds like that might mean that you're lacking confidence here. Try to step into the situation without the lacking confidence, but try to step into the situation with humility at the same time. Ask the team what they need, uh, what type of things they think you should move forward on and educate yourself very rapidly. You've been very kind about it. I totally misread it. Yeah. So they're joining a completely new department. And they want yeah, to be... it sounds be, like they might be a junior member. Yeah, they want to be what that department is looking for. Enthusiasm. Yes. Ask lots of questions. Don't, and... Don't be afraid to ask questions, but take notes. This might be don't very... Don't ask the same question again. Counter current culture, but you might want to put some work in outside of hours to, like, familiarize it. I know, I know, I know. But they're, they're asking for, for tips, and if, if, you're looking to, <laughs> if you're looking to impress a new department... Yeah be growing and be growing rapidly. And if, if you can do that within hours, great. Like I'm not, you don't have to do this, but if you're feeling the burn when it's outside yeah. of work, you might be able to make your day better by just prepping a little bit more. The, the whole without much experience thing, I keep coming back to that. Um, don't try too hard. Be yourself. Pff, I hate that advice. Um, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. You gave me a hard time about dunking on float plane I'm subscribers. Sorry. Okay, I'll explain why. Okay, Jay Citron, we approve. We 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 like you still. You're still yes, cool. Yes. Yes. Stay subscribed. And and the be yourself part. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not telling you to be any different. But yeah, the like socially. But the yourself. don't try too hard thing. Yeah, don't push yourself to the point where you're oh. exhausting yourself too much. No, I think you misread this. Did I? Yeah, I think it's like don't try too hard. Like be yourself. Like ah! you know, like don't laugh too hard. You know. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then, then unless yeah, that's you're fair awful, <laughs> then be someone else. What I I'm specifically <laughs> talking about effort level. Sure. D don't. I wouldn't try too hard to necessarily fit. Uh, like I wouldn't focus too much on being able to sit around the lunch table. Yeah. Without it being awkward. I would focus hard on being a valuable member of the team. Yeah, for sure. Because if you're a valuable member of the team, people apparently, will want to talk to you. Apparently, you were right. They said thanks. Okay, cool. Uh, if you're a valuable member of the team, it's bound then to get one right. Even if you don't socially fit in super well, people yeah. are going to like that you're yeah, on you'll the team. You'll still be respected, even yeah. if you're not like people's BFF, right? And usually, if you're respected because you're a valuable member of the team, that'll just kind of happen with time. Uh, K chirp. This is this is pretty good. This is a pretty good way of kind of summarizing. I think what you um, did a good job of oculusing about there. Uh, <laughs> no great boss ever asks his team to consistently put in work after hours, but mm -hmm. they sure do notice it. Yes, that's a really that's a really good way. So of a short term it. burst at the beginning yeah. to get yourself uh, maybe not up to speed, but at least closer. Show so, show some effort is never yes. a bad idea. Like I was really impressed when um, you don't James, want to be doing this long term. Uh, James, who didn't have a ton of tech knowledge coming in here compared to some of the other writers that we hired, Anthony, Alex, Jake, at that time, right? Like these these were highly technical people who just like did tech things for fun for lols, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so James coming in, I was really impressed when he asked. Um, for funding to buy this like textbook about display technology. And I was like, it was like 
200 or $300 or something like that. I was like, okay, I'm not buying this if you're not going to read it. But if you're actually going to read it, and he did, then yeah, sure. Yeah, like, of course. And he's like, yeah. I, and he's like, yeah, I read the whole thing on my own time. Like, because the reality of it is that what you do during work time is work. But what you do outside of work time, you could almost think of as like qualifications. Yeah. yeah, like you wouldn't have been, you, you were kind of hired based on having a go-getter kind of attitude. So yeah, I mean, by all means, yeah, I didn't ask him to. And you don't, you don't want to do this long-term. No, really, it's not sustainable. You're, you're going to burn out really hard. You got to have a life. It's going to be bad for you and it's going to be bad for your employer to a certain degree because if, when you're burnt out and you're showing up to work, it's-, it's This is a line I know you've heard. You're no good to me dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Heard that one a few times. Uh, <laughs> if I see someone going too hard, that's that's what I always default to. Like, hey, yeah. look, you're no good to me dead. Like, yeah, you're like you're, you're a warm you're, body, but you're not here, right? Yeah. yeah, you're better showing up and doing the work than showing up and doing the work too hard and then burning out and disappearing and doing that cycle a bunch of times. So put in put in a little bit of extra effort at the beginning to get a little bit of a boost on that experience yeah. Uh, might be a decent idea or not. Depends. You're going to have to vibe this out a little bit. It might be a decent idea to kind of ask the team for some resources for things that you can catch up on. Um, depending on the vibe though, they might use that as ammo against you. So it might be a good idea to find the resources yourself and try to catch up as best you can. It just depends on the type of people you're dealing with. 